Nature Shaman is the undisputed king of Hearthstone right now. Shopper Demon Hunter and a bunch of other decks might be on top, but there's a reason why I am saying that Nature Shaman is the king. It's just the best deck in the game, okay? Just trust me, okay? Just trust me. Just trust me. It's good. So today's video is going to be a little bit different, talking about my favorite deck in Hearthstone right now, Nature Shaman. And the main reason why I've decided to wait on making this video is because I have five deck lists that I'm going to be showing you that specifically talk about Nature Shaman. And a couple of them have already been decks that we've talked about. But the reason why I believe that it's important to talk about all these decks is because the Masters Tours lineup are now live, and almost every single person brought Naga, Shop Demon Hunter, Zarimi Priest, Pain Warlock, Nature Shaman, and Spell Damage Shaman, which the, the only difference between Spell Damage Shaman and Nature Shaman is that the Nature Shaman decks are running Jive Insect, and Spell Damage Shaman is the decks without Jive Insect. But yeah, Odin Warrior, Omega Popular, this is going to be a pretty interesting Masters Tour if you are someone who enjoys these decks. If you are someone who does not enjoy these decks, then maybe the Masters Tour is not going to be all too exciting. Because there is a lot of turn 6 lethals that are going to be possible this meta with like Control Warrior being the only deck that's really, well, different in the lineup. But enough about the Masters Tour. We are here to talk about Nature Shaman and why I believe it might be the best deck in the game. And as you can see, I have five lists that I'm ready to talk about. So the deck that we'll be seeing play in the video today is going to be this version from Tic Tac that runs Inza, Fairytale Forest, as well as like Wand Makers. And honestly, I think Wand Maker was like the first card that people were cutting from this list. So if you want to take out Wand Maker, you could easily put in a Cactus Cutter, which legitimately might be better in this particular style of deck because when I was testing with this deck originally people were thinking that wand makers was really good since there's actually a lot of one mana spells that are available in the pool with like you know extra lightning bolt lightning reflexes overdraft is really good to get randomly pop-up book like the worst card to get from this is thrall's gift without a doubt but you don't want to set up even the possibility of low rolling considering how this deck just wants to do nothing but draw so cactus cutter a totem there's actually a panner that you can put into the deck I don't believe that this is the best deck by any means but this is going to be the list that you see coming up in the video that does showcase what can happen when Fairy Tail Forest might actually be a legitimate card. And the reason why there might be some legitimacy to this is so that way you can play Inza as soon as you can. So that way you make your zappers cost zero. You can fizzle an important hand full of zappers and a bunch of lightning bolts. But now you have like this potential of doing very large combo for essentially zero mana depending on how you set it up. But unfortunately, this is probably going to be one of the weaker versions of this deck just because this deck has been obliterated by the other developments in Nature Shaman over the weeks. And what we are looking at is like a list that I believe that hit rank one legend, but unfortunately I never saw the post and I never saw the creator that did this. But the reason why Nature Shaman has been booming was after this deck hit rank one legend. It was all over HS Replay and Donkey. So people started playing Spirit Claws, put back in the Cactus Cutter into their deck, put the Totem back into their deck. There is no longer a Panner that goes into this list because we are running cards like Spirit Claw and Overdraft. These cards add a little bit more into the deck and give us some legitimate ways of being able to end out the game that gold panner just simply cannot do there's already plenty of card draw in this deck so we need to enable the the game plans that are not nearly as prevalent like the damage cards for example like you need as many damage cards and overdraft can give you an easy way of being able to push beyond 30 which is very important in a deck like this like it's not just about dealing 30 it's about the situations where you might need to deal more than 30 in order to deal with like the armor decks and i do believe that this deck has a lot of game in that perspective now just Jive Insect is making a legitimate appearance, but how good is that deck really? This is the version of the deck that I took to Legend, and honestly, if I were to make any changes right now, I would just change the card grader to any particular card that you want to put into the deck. You could put in the weapon, for example, if you want to go down that route. If you just want to have some extra spell damage added into the combo, you could even add in just like another draw card by putting in like a cactus cutter. You could put in a dry scale deputy, but deputy is probably not going to be worth it since you're running cards like the jive insect like the conductivity and the ancestral knowledge you're kind of making that a little bit weaker so in all honesty if you want to play jive insect i would just take out the card grader and just put in something else that makes sense into this particular deck but this isn't even the most popular version of jive insect and jive insect is making a very real resurgence at top legend where some people like norris for example are playing actual jive insect combos 
in their deck in order to give yourself a little bit more game against Warrior. The fact that you can also put in Fizzle, which honestly just might be the card that you replace the card grader for. You just put in a Fizzle so you have more top end and more gas. Uh, but this is very similar to another idea that some people have had by trying to counter specifically Demon Hunter. And this is the version of the deck that is trying to specifically counter Demon Hunter. It does run the Fizzle into the deck so that way you still have those matchups against Warrior becoming favored. But the reason why this deck wants to queue into Demon Hunter is because we are hard running the Altered Chord in order to run into the 6-5s. So this is just one way that we can neutralize that matchup. And I mean, it, it's a way to make it a little bit more favor. I, I, I shouldn't say neutralize by any means because this deck is good into Demon Hunter, but is not the end-all be-all. But trust me, man, once you play your second or third Altered Chord, thanks to like Elixirs or Lightning Reflexes, you will start to realize that Demon Hunters have a real hard time dealing with you when you're constantly going back to 30 HP and removing their board. Now, the deck that I would recommend the most out of everything here, if you are choosing one of these decks to play, is going to be this one. And, and the reason why I'm stating it this way is because in case people did not make it to this portion of the video, congratulations, you have more of an attention span than most of the people that are scrolling Twitter, scrolling YouTube shorts, or scrolling TikTok. Congratulations, you made it to the test. If you made it to this part of the video, you can consider yourself a true Heart Clark Hellscream fan because you know which Nature Shaman deck I'm going to be recommending the most. So if anybody leaves a comment down in this video and they're like, which of these lists should I play? You know they didn't watch the full video. So this would be the one that I'd recommend the most because it has the best amount of tempo, the best about a card draw, as well as the best combo that can also deal with warriors if you play the deck perfectly. Now, granted, this is a very difficult deck it, that the plays are not going to be simple. And sometimes you are simply going to lose the warrior because your card draws are not there. They gain too much armor or they have the ways of counteracting your weapon when you're trying to build up the jazz base combo. But this really is one of those decks to where you put in more effort and more work into it and you get more benefit and more rewards out of it. And to, and seeing how the balance patches are going to be, all they're going to do is just nerf the, the Demon Hunter weapon. So the fact that Demon Hunter is one of our worst matchups and is essentially going to be deleted according to some creators, with Demon Hunter getting worse, this deck gets significantly better as long as the Warrior matchup becomes less popular and more decks that emerge are still weak to Nature Shaman. There is the possibility that the nerfs and the changes could open up the meta a little bit that bring in like a new aggro deck like maybe like there's a hunter that's really good against nature shaman i would not really put my money on that but there might be something that opens up the meta to where nature shaman becomes a little bit worse but if that doesn't happen then this deck is the undisputed king of hearthstone i would highly recommend playing this particular version of the deck because it just looks like playing combo doubling up with fizzle and then doing the combo again can even beat armor thresholds that warrior can generate but i hope you guys enjoy this continued coverage over nature shaman i am most likely going to have a video that showcases specifically the Norwest list that I just posted about right here, the one with the, the Jive and the Fizzle in the deck. All these deck codes are down below in the description, so make sure you get those deck codes if you want to try it. Yada, yada, yada. Like, favorite, subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and shut up now and have you guys just be mesmerized by the power of Nature Shaman. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Check out the Patreon if you want to support the content and get extra perks and bonuses for doing such, and we'll see you for the next video. So I guess, the okay, Warlock is like the freest matchup. Warlock is Omega the freest matchup. So we just keep the good cards. 80s Italian Disco? Is that what this is? Italian Disco? And I don't and I don't hear a single accordion in the in the in the entire track. What's going on here? This is not this is not the Italians I know. This is not the Guido ancestry that I have been taught that I've been raised by. Where's the accordion, bro? It's completely safe. Just don't spill it. How do I get rid of this? This green bar is like completely warped this freaking thing. Swear to God, dude, Spotify, why do you give me the most amount of trouble when it comes to consistency? Also, this guy's playing Sludge, holy crap. It's not Wheel Warlock. Oh, yo, a mini player? Wait a minute. Uh, it's not picking up on the mini player. Of course it's not. God damn it. How do I get rid of it? I'm like so fixated on this. I shouldn't be, but it's annoying me. Okay, hold on. I'm closing Spotify. This is like actually bothering me this much. Sorry to, sorry to close the tunes. And, and it doesn't go away. How the hell do I make this go away? This green fucking bottom bar. Oh my God. Today is just so unorganized. Makes sense. Never associated with Italy, but I can see it. As the same whore line as the, the Yu Yu Hakusho theme song. Oh, does it really? Wait, what? All right, so that has to be hexed. 
It's a good thing I found this randomly. Got to clean Inza and to uh, draw another card. What Fino tournament? I already lost, bro. I, I made I made a very stupid misplay that threw the, the that threw the game. And if I just would have thought for another two seconds, I would have made the best play. But I did not think. I just did. That's not how you're supposed to play Hearthstone. Well. Three hours of Shaman Dew. We've been primarily playing Druid today. What are you talking about? <laughs> We've played two hours of almost nothing but Druid. I gotta play the good nature Shaman at some point. Yeah, it's like the third game of Shaman. Am I dead? I don't think I'm dead. Okay. I think I need the AOE. As, as much as I want to risk it and just go for the lethal, I have to go. I have to be smart here. Now this might actually do it. All right, not lethal, but close enough, right? And this is where you have to fight for tempo. Click your output. What Wait. Power. Click your output. Uh, you want to use Spotify uh, to use that bar should go away. What do you mean click my output? Ha ha ha! Got him. Okay, so we keep Golganeth. Everything else can go. It's the sound source thing being a dick. It really is, man. Would I be interested in trying Overheal Priest? I'm gonna like 70% of my games. Overheal Priest is a deck that I've tried to learn and it just doesn't equate. I don't know why. It just doesn't compute. Okay, you think this guy is a bot, by the way? I think this guy might be a bot. You know, just, just a hunch that I have, though. So the only reason I'm doing this is because I have pop-up book. Otherwise, I would never do this. No sleep token? Oh, did I miss sleep token? I did miss sleep token. Chokehold? Yo, mama, put me in a chokehold. So deputy into overdraft. My favorite guessing game. Bot or Polish last name. Kavisov. Uh, Jifflecrip. Yeah, it sounds like a legit name. Sounds like a legit name. Hey, pass me the natures. Give me the natures, bro. I have a Georgian uh, friend called like. <laughs> Restart PC for green bar. Yeah, it's what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> So this into this. We just gotta survive. Ooh, ye dude. Oh no, that's hot. One, two, three, four, five damage cards essentially in hand. Oh my god. Wait, is that f wait, five? All oh, right, because I use the lightning bolt. Like this may not be a game where Fizzle actually makes a difference, but this is a like an example of how I can actually focus on controlling the board. I can like actually do that now. Like, I can use Lightning Reflex to just try to roll, like, Altered Chord when I need it. Okay, that's not good. Is this the first Saturday you streamed? I usually stream Saturdays. Maybe I haven't streamed recent Saturdays, because there's been a couple of, um, of holidays recently. But aside from that, nice. Nice try. I don't even really care that much about this, because we could just deal three and then throw the two to this. But if he plays minions with more than three HP, this is kind of a problem. Like, I don't have draw capabilities here just play a bunch of the one ones oh wait a minute i'm so used to this being plus one plus one i could i could deal with a zilliax i don't care about zilliax give me give me a little little smooch of the ocean Mwah. I didn't want to join Fino's tournament. I did, and I went one and two. So yeah, it, it is what it is, though. I I was not playing my best. Uh, I I made a game throwing misplay, and it literally, I thought about my turn for two seconds. I deserve to lose that game because I didn't think about my options. Like it, it really sucks. Like I was prepared to um 
to do to like actually like play like serious Hearthstone today. But then I just didn't get sleep last night. Like I went out, had had some fun with my friends. I didn't get too wasted. And but then I just like I couldn't sleep. One, two, your title advertised. Zero, two, I've been ripped off. I know, right? I'm not as washed as you think I am. It's it's all just a bait and switch, dude. It's all just a bait and switch. The same for me. My opponent had crazy draws, and it was the mirror, rainbow mage, and nature shaman. He drew better. It happens, man. That's the thing that sucks about tournaments, man. There's always going to be a loser, and most of the time, it, it is going to be you. <laughs> Just because there can only be one winner out of 70 losers, statistically speaking. Oh, son of a bitch. Why does Golgoneth never survive, man? Just one time, I'd love the boy to live. Because now he's got a permanent lifesteal. I'm going to like, actually OTK him. So I should go for an overload card, right? Because the next draw that I get is going to get doubled up. Well... Well... Huh. Well, ain't that interesting. I'm wondering if it's actually Lightning Bolt into Flow Rider. Can you imagine if we hit double Snapshot? Oh my god. You know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> End your end your fucking turn, dude. I I I have I have I I don't have time for I literally don't have time for this. All right, hold on. With the overload, I'm gonna have just enough mana to pop this off. Oh my god. Okay, hold on a minute. So we're gonna have to play the first one early so we can get the nature cards. We're not gonna get the full value out of the first snapshot. Oh my god, dude. I don't know how much damage this is, but this is way more than thirty. <laughs> I don't know how much damage this is, but it's way more than thirty. <laughs> I gotta let him know, dude. I gotta let him know that he literally had zero chance. He had zero chance, dude. <laughs> oh, how much? How much extra damage? <laughs> <laughs> oh my nature shaman unplayable without bioluminescence i will never ever forget the people that judged this deck and and said that it was dead y'all y'all are looking real silly right now best deck in the game by far hold on, i gotta beat this warrior all right i got i gotta i gotta beat the warrior we got we gotta get ourselves back in top 1k that's the goal that's the goal. Not because not because I need it, but because I want it. Okay, fizzle in the starting hand. Sus. Very sus. But imagine him dirty riding it. Oh my god, I can't let that happen. I might legitimately have to play it on turn three. This is not a hand I want to fizzle. This is not a hand I want to fizzle, dude. Oh my lord, the dirty rat is actually doing so much to carry right now. Also, I'm going to restart my deck tracker because I'm tired of that being in the corner. I'm not playing the tournament anymore, so. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Warrior can bend me over only if I let it, though. Easy way to fix the deck. Now that we can go above 10 mana, gain 100 mana like Druid, and then overload all 100 mana, play Overdraft. I like that idea because playing big Overdraft. Who doesn't like more Overdraft? Doesn't seem worth it to play Fizzle still. His baseline is sick. It is very, it is very spanky. Like the title. Spanky alien. I don't know why they're spanking this alien, but I mean clearly he deserved it, right? Wand maker. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Give me a damage card. That's worth it better than nothing Japanese base is something dude. It really is like J rock Just as, as someone with ADHD J rock just makes me so happy because there's just there's always just like Like that's actually a, a riff 
I think it's like uh, suspended 14th or something like that. Like it just it just makes my brain happy. I don't know why. All right. Well, if there's a time to play Fizzle, it is now. It's not as flashy, but it's still damage, and we have spell damage inside of it. They sound like Konami eight big uh, eight bit tracks. J Pop uh, has this uh, type of rhythm in most songs. Exactly, and that's why I love it. Fuck. Well, uh, well, that, that was it was nice. It was nice playing Hearthstone. It, it was nice playing Hearthstone when we had the chance. All right, I need Inza. If I can find Inza, then this game might be over. So many over ogre load cards. Ryo uh, from Baki the Rock uh, is the best basis. Uh, do you have a song track? I'll let you play it for free if you're confident in that statement. And if I like it, then hell yeah, I'll, I'll add it to my playlist. But if I don't like it, hmm, what should be the punishment? I mean, it, I'll, I'll, honestly, if it's if it's a cool, s sick bass riff, I'm gonna like it. It's gonna be very hard for me not to like a cool bass riff. Ooh, ooh, that effect though. Ooh, ooh, that effect though. That fade out was smooth. You are making my new WoW character grind so much more enjoyable. Oh, why is that? What was it specifically about your new WoW character? Did you name him after the Horde or something? If so, then thank you. <laughs> uh, I think we just do this. Draw some cards. I gotta find that Inza, dude. Keep on drawing. Am I really just gonna throw away all the frogs? <laughs> My froggy boys! <laughs> My froggy boys. It's an anime girl, Clark. Oh, okay, I thought there, okay. Well, what is something that she plays then? I don't know Baki the Rock. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. I have a lot of minions, but. I think I need the guaranteed damage instead of the lightning reflexes. This is almost enough. Six, 30, uh, 33 plus one, two, three, four. So that's 37 if I have the mana to pop it all off. Remember, we just like we don't have to rush this. Damn it. If that survived, we might have had enough. Does Enzo end it? GG. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? How's that not enough? Am I really one damage off? I hate my life, dude! <laughs> if I would have picked the crash instead of picking this, it might have been less lethal! Oh my god! It's always one! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I needed a card to get rid of. I could have just gotten rid of a freaking lightning bolt. Oh!
actually bull why is it uh, how am i always one damage off against the warrior it's oh my god i hate you quit hearthstone please quit hearthstone oh my god quit the game bro It's never enough versus warrior. That's the thing, it was enough. It was enough. It was enough, but I chose the wrong card. I could have just waited. I could have just waited. That's all I needed to do was just wait. All right, come on, come on, snapshot. Snapshot can actually get us there, believe. Believe. Bullshit. Bullshit. Actual bullshit. I should have won that. 100% should have won that game. That warrior didn't deserve anything. Turn 5 brand and we could have beaten him. I'm just going to keep all of this. <sighs> From 1 HP to 30 uh, HP and 6 armor. Welcome to, welcome to control decks, man. This is what you guys wanted, right? This is what the control gamers always wanted. They want their control deck to beat literally everything, so Blizzard has to give it everything. Even if it's balanced or not. <laughs> four more hours of Shaman. You'll like it. You'll like it. Because we'll at least be like, we'll have four more games where we're one off lethal. I promise you. This deck sickens me sometimes. But god damn it, is it just so much fun. Alright, so we go face just to push the damage. I guess Mage, it might make a difference. Wait, is the game... A f Why is the game sounds not coming through? What the hell? Why is the game play not coming through? I have to restart my game. What the hell, dude? You tell have those games really been without audio this entire time? We kind of have the nuts here. All right, so I'm gonna relog real quick because I don't know why my game effects aren't com coming through. I swear to God, dude, I need like a professional to come look at my setup and just like get all of this shit like lined up so that way my ducks in a row and this kind of crap doesn't happen. Like I don't know why this happens so frequently. Like watch there be no problem now. And if there's still a problem, then what the hell? Hearthstone add-on is green and Spotify. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there we go, fixed. I fixed it. Sometimes you just gotta turn it off and on again. I got a Thessarian for Rainbow Mage, and yes, I am playing standard. Wait, what? You mean Thor? Oh, Thorison, you mean. You mean Thor? Wait, how? Oh, you got Thorison because of uh, ha uh, Hearth? That would make sense. It's the only way that makes sense. Little boy. So it doesn't look like I have the opportunity to throw out Golganath. There's not really a reason to do it. However, playing Fizzle can be very fruitful. The question is, should I try to get rid of these before? Golganath deal three doesn't feel that good. I have to play around Counterspell, right? Oh, it's vain. You know? I really wanted an, o an, uh, an overload card. I don't think it's time to play Vizzle yet. Of course we'll overload. I mean, at least it's got Divine Shield, right? <laughs> Shroomscavate Divine Shield, so good. It's like it's got nothing that makes it a Shaman card. Outside the fact that it can work with conductivity. That's about it. I don't know, dude. I think they, I think they need to rework Excavate Shaman. It's just... it's. I don't understand how we're supposed to make it work. There's just nothing for the deck. 
It's it's the slowest excavator, and it's also the worst excavator. Okay, well. Golgoneth clear might just be the way here. Our next spell is getting duplicated, right? No, these got duplicated. For mercy. By my display. All right, so we gotta at least make it look like we have people, right? Ooh, that is actually perfect. That is really good. If this could survive, I'm pretty sure it's just GG. But he's got like reverb it or something. Reverb it to deal 20 ping. 39. I can easily deal 39, yeah. Reality. Artificer, oh boy. Shutterwalk Deputy? Shutterwalk Deputy is way too slow though. Shutter block equals three snapshots. Yeah, but then I have to run a six, essentially seven mana card in my deck. That's the big problem. Get the reverb this entire time? Oh my god. Wait, he found it randomly. Oh my, come on. Come on, dude. Why does every game gotta be like this? I gotta beat this guy though, so that way I have a 100% win rate against decks that aren't Warrior though. Yep, he's doing the thing. There's no way you're letting the Golgoneth live, right? Okay, we good, this guy learns. This guy learned his lesson. Now, do I have lethal is the question. Can I please get an overload card? Go with the flow. Everybody, pose for the camera. Go with the flow. No way. Is this enough? I mean, we gotta do it for content, but. I will not be animations, 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 animations. I don't know, I don't have enough time. Fuck me, bro. <sighs> that could have been enough. That could have been enough. Oh my god, that could have been enough, dude. <laughs> I mean, even okay, even if it, even though it's not, I'm killing him next turn, right? Like, there's no way he doesn't die next turn. So we could have had an extra five potential. Okay, yeah, there was a potential lethal. It wasn't guaranteed. But this was still a lot though, dude. Yep, draw a card. Is this really gonna survive? There's no way it survives. The armor that he got from Sleet Skater is really making a difference though. Almost wish I had the mana to somehow play this. You know, if I didn't play Overdraft, I could have played Flash. Oh my God, your, your instincts and your intuition with this deck are so important. Cause you'll have to make a decision like I did where it's like, I have to move now, think later. Cause I could have just started with overdraft. Draw another card. Things would be discounted. It would be infinitely better. <laughs> really? That's really funny actually. That's hilarious if you think about it. So three, four. There's no, there is no way this is gonna win, right? It would, it would be a Hearthstone travesty if it, if it won. That was a good thing I didn't assume Overdraft was going to be playable next turn. Taunt once. Don't tell me I'm dead. Don't tell me I lose this because he randomly generated Speaker Stomper. No way. No way, dude. No way. I refuse to respect it. I refuse. He is just going to die next turn. He's dead. Oh, shit. That's not good. It's only enemies, right? Okay, yeah, you can't do it to your own minion. I'd be kind of busted if you'd attack and then just suddenly gain 14. 16. This is eight.
Eight, eleven. So we need five more, and that'll probably do it. This storm is Easy peasy. All right, still got it. Still got it. Randomly generated speaker stomper can't stop me. Oh my god. That was way too stressful. Way too stressful, dude. All right, all right, we're back. I told you, man, 100% win rate against everything that's not warrior. Pace is playing shaman. All righty, well, we gotta keep the good cards in the mirror then. Maybe we get lucky and hit turn four Inza. One dose Slippery little sneaky boy. Problem. So sneaky. I hate that I just keep coining a minion every single time. But it's like I gotta play something. I can't just do nothing. I am a master of balance. Okay, Thanos, calm down. There we go. That's the reason to coin it out. You just always top it off. You always get it right off the top. Trading snake oil. Not good for him. Second deputy. No spells drawn. He could draw the oil. It'd be really funny if he draws oil. Damn, no Inza. Okay, well, we can shoot for Inza on turn five then. Right before the Golganeth. You're doing this already? Oh my god, do I have to- I have to respect this, right? The snake in your face. I need spell damage. I'm at 26 and he's at 34. That is such a big difference, dude. Okay. Really? I would have traded here, honestly. There's no way, right? Flow Rider? <laughs> Do you guys believe? Please. Snapshot me. Damn it. It would have been so sweet if it happened. It would have been so sick if it happened. One, two, three, twelve. Even with spell damage, it's not going to be enough now. I have to hit another flash. And it did not happen. It did not happen. So we just lose now. If he's got it, that is. Ah. Very sad. Very sad day. Omega sad day. <sighs> I had a chance of coming back if that would have hit the uh, the snapshot. It was a bit of a risk, but it's like I, I had to make it happen. Most impressive. Uh, I gotta I gotta admit, man, these mirrors do suck though. Three spell damage. Yeah, I had all the damage, but I didn't have the spell damage. I mean, he also drew five more cards than I did. I didn't get my panners or my totems. Wait, hold on a minute. This deck doesn't play totem? Wait, what? We don't play totem? Just not realizing this. Yeah, we, we don't play totem because we play fairy tale forest. Wait, I'm alive? Double altered cord. Why? Why are these options so terrible? Why are these options so terrible? I just should have fucking crashed. Now I'm gonna lose. Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. I just should have crashed. I just legitimately should have crashed. I was so focused on trying to heal though. At the same time, I needed to heal there. Okay, I'm alive. Living. Living, living, alive, alive. We must fight to survive. Great, 
Only I had the mana to play this. I mean, if we're not dead here, lightning bolts are gone. Crap, he's got he's got to discover the nuts. That needs to be a, a reflexes or a damage card. There's no in between. No way. No way. No way. Golgadeth is in the snapshot. Just saying. <laughs> I don't have the mana for it, but it'd be really funny if I could make it happen. We don't we don't we don't need to go crazy though. We don't need we don't need to go crazy. This is all that needs to happen. The snapshot wins the game. Alright, alright, he ran out of gas. Oh my god. How am I alive? Everybody. He also plays Fizzle. Wait. No. No. I worked so hard. I worked so hard. Okay. 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 Oh my lord. Yeah, you must fight to survive. <laughs> Still 100% against everything that's not warrior. Ah, <laughs> oh, end it, dude. Get him out of here. Ah, oh, the perfect climax to the perfect song describing this moment. I need my revenge against these warriors. Norris actually got a little upset if I uh, when I asked him if nature was still playable after the nerfs. Why was he upset? What, does he want to play something else? <laughs> I guess I could kind of understand that. It's like, I'm just sick of this deck. It's been around since Titans. But this, that's not at all what I hear people say. They're just like, oh man, this deck is not fair. I'm not trying to be your friend. I'm trying to beat you. Jerry, uh, can't throw twice in an hour. Pinch me. Gotta, gotta love some Allison Chains, man. Nice. Nice rat there, Bo. Nice rat there, dude. Chase the path of life. Oh, yeah. This is Omega Slow, but I mean, the dirty rat on turn two is just annoying. I hate looking at his smug little face. Oh, my. Man, four mana Inza one time, dude. Four mana Inza, one time. One more death can't hurt. Tempo Acolyte of Death. That's kind of ballsy. You don't pick the walls. Damage? Nice. Boom, baby! Nice minion. Nice card draw. We 100% do this because stopping his card draw is going to give us the best chances of winning. And we've also got Knowledge into Fairytale Forest next turn. So we tap the first forest, see if we get lucky. Extra health is scary. But I honestly can't deal with that right now. Inza? Damn it. You don't pick the water sea. The snake in your boot. The only reason why I was not sure if I wanted to play this because I wanted to maybe try and guarantee the card that I get. But most cards that I- Oh! The random! Oh, it hurts! So much it hurts. Alright, overdraft. We're just gonna have to go all in. Job done. All right. I think we've got enough damage. Almost this entire hand is nothing but gas. More health, okay. 45 is doable. 45 Omega doable. Is this Tic Tac's list? Yes, it is. Mil Inza, cause he failed us so much this game. Or Golganeth, I guess that also works. Long 
the mouth. Go with the flow. Nice, discovered more damage. Wait. It's so close, dude. Oh my god, it was so close. How much is it? Five off? Oh, the Death Knight! The armor from the Death Knight! <sighs> Turn seven, deal 40. Come on, man. <sighs> if I had one more spell damage card, it would have been enough. Easily. If I would have hit the second Flow Rider, it could have been enough. Because Flow Rider would have hit Crash, Flash, or Elixir. It actually would have been guaranteed. Depending on my order of, thi of this guy. This order would have also been somewhat important, right? Okay, that's a nothing turn. Wait. So I win. Right? GG. GG. Oh my lord. Oh my god. By the grit of my teeth, dude. Ugh. I have not lost to anything that's not a warrior.